Donald Trump, yeah, that's my president. Hey, hey. Donald Trump, yeah, that's my president. Let's go. Donald Trump, yeah, that's my hey, president. Yeah. Buckle up, ladies. <laughs> okay, so there's some weird... Maybe I'm tripping, but politics has turned into, like, some kind of sporting event. It's like a rap beef. Like, like, like Tupac and Biggie, but better. <laughs> I'm having a fantastic time. If you're new here, welcome. <sighs> Take a hit, metaphorically speaking. We're just going to look at... I just want to paint you guys a picture. Because I don't think I'm tripping. And this is going to be fun. Uh, things have gotten weird. And I'm honestly really enjoying the ride. So just buckle up. Strap in. Because this is good stuff here. <laughs> like, look, like, look at this. <laughs> like, thug life. Hold on. Wait. It, just look at it. Are, are you looking at it? It's genius. I mean, the marketing? Spectacular. And think about this. Let's break it down to like marketing. And real quick, just so you guys know, I don't trust any of these guys. Okay? I, I don't have a side. All right? We all know who would win, but I don't actually have a side. I'm on your side. Okay, cool. But look at this marketing on this. You ready? He goes, Trump has been uh, found guilty of 34 counts of, of felonies. I know. It's like, you would think that'd be a bad thing, right? It's not, though. Think about Bill Clinton. Oh, old Billy Barul. Okay? Dude gets his, his, his kusloisal sucked one time in the White House. Everybody, every guy's going, yeah, that's my boy. That's my guy. You know? So add some felony charges to it and some rap songs. Are you kidding me? Every black guy in America is going, yeah, yeah. You see, that's my man right there. Shit. Pimpin', triple limpin', daddy. I don't mean to say it like that. Like that. But think about it, though. It's genius. It, it really is. It's genius marketing. But I went and tried to find, like, all these, uh, you know, these uh, felonies. They're all the same. Falsifying business records, falsifying business records, falsifying business records. It's all just falsifying business records. Like, uh, like our own government doesn't fuck up our money on their own. Hypocrites. That's yeah, tremendous. I love it. Let's keep it moving. This, let's get deep here. But right here, they make him look so badass. Watch this. He's like getting ran up on on stage. Put myself. I know it's not. <laughs> I just thought that I, I wouldn't even be surprised. Call me crazy. I don't want to get too, you know, down the rabbit hole. But I wouldn't even be surprised if that was planned. I could be tripping. I'm just saying. Okay. But let's switch gears here. Okay. Because this is where, this is why I've never really dove into politics or talk about politics with people. Because it, it could be so like, if you don't agree with me, you're, you're, you're a retard. I know like this lady here you know what is so embarrassing that people openly admit that they jo that they voted for joe biden back in 2020 and then openly admit again that they're going to be voting for joe biden again in 2024 like aren't you embarrassed because that's embarrassing i literally have secondhand embarrassment right now for the, the greatest enemy of the united states is the democrat party uh oh the latinos bro trump latinos i got love for the patriots love Sorry, I just had to put that in there. You see what I'm go going with this, okay? I, I know Barack Obama had rap songs made about him, but this is like next level, dude. We've got the Latinos in on it. We got the we got the we got the the Crips and the Bloods in on it. Uh, we definitely got the white boys in on it. Come on, <laughs> obviously. <coughs> but I just think it's so funny though. Like, let, let me paint you this this way. Uh, one of my ex girlfriends, her parents were very like Joe Biden is king, right? Which I don't care. I don't trust them anyways. So we're at dinner one night. This is going somewhere. We're at dinner one night, and they start poking at me, asking me what I think about politics. And I'm trying to play it cool. I'm just like, you know, I don't want to just shout at them like, I don't trust any of them. You know, like, I, I'm trying to play it cool because I really don't care what you guys think about it. 
It's not like I'm not going to judge you based off of your political beliefs. So anyways, they're sitting there and they're all like, fuck Trump. He should die. He's a loser. And then so they, they look at me and they're like. And I go, oh, OK. I go, well, while we're at it, fuck Biden, too. Right. <laughs> I look around. They're all like this. <gasps> I'm like, you guys just said you wanted to the guy to die. All I would said was just fuck this dude too. So anyways, we broke up. <clears throat> if you're new here, I'd like to read some of your comments uh, from previous videos. Keep it light, keep it loose, keep it fresh, keep it, you know, Trump train all aboard. This person goes, the government was never meant to be this big. It was originally framed to be small with the states governing, governing themselves primarily and a small federal government. Yeah, well, this is not that. Okay, we're talking full-blown rapper elite status. Okay, these people are like full-blown celebrities now. And they're flaunting their stuff. I kind of get it. All right, so anyways, back to the Joe Biden thing. I just think this is so funny. Real quick, before we dive into this chick, for all my regular viewers, I got a stand-up show coming up on the 15th. Talk about that at the end. And I know you guys have been bitching about me not posting stand-up, so I posted it right here on the second channel. Anyways, let's let this little sugar thing uh, tell us how it is. It's really cute. All the college uh, kids, boys, men, whatever they are, are trending conservative. And I'm like, yeah, duh. The left is so insane at this point that like if you're a dude, especially if you were a straight dude and put yourself in that category, like you're like insane. It's like not only is it like it's embarrassing. It's like Im imagine being a man and being like, yeah, I'm a Democrat. What's it like? I just think it's so funny, like how people are acting. It's, um, it's literally like a sporting event now. I don't know. You guys tell me if I'm tripping, like watch this guy. He just goes full blast with the Joe Biden. This is, this is awesome. Seeing so many. And remember, I don't actually care who you guys support. Cause I don't like any of them. I don't really know them personally, obviously, but you get my point. This is this is great, though. Republicans in Manhattan, so many Trump supporters in Manhattan. Does that surprise you? No, not at all. It's turning now. Trump's turn again. What's your message to Joe Biden? Fuck you. In front of Trump Tower, niggas for Trump 2024. Y'all know who I am. Now get mad. I don't care nothing about your damn feelings. Your feelings already been hurt for like eight decades. Come on, man. You've been loyal to them Democrats. They ain't did a damn thing for you. Niggas for Trump 2024. Have a good day. Niggas for Trump 2024. I don't mean to say it like that. I was just repeating the guy. But if you just repeat after him, it's just kind of funny. I mean, I don't know. Am I bugging out, guys? Anybody in here? I kind of want to get up and break something right now because I'm going to lose it. All right. This person goes, Robert goes, I love my country, but ashamed of my government. West side. Yeah, honestly, it's got kind of gotten a bit carried away, dude. Like some of the stuff they're doing, it's just... It's just a bit nuts. But what's even crazier is, I was on TikTok, you got this stuff all day long, just people debating each other. And I think it's just kind of unproductive. I mean, I guess this video is kind of just silly. I'm just more kind of seeing if you guys are seeing the same thing I see because I'm just so confused. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am thoroughly entertained. I mean, this is way better than TV. But it's just kind of trippy stuff to, to if you really think about it. Growing up is realizing that Donald Trump, you might not agree with the man socially or morally. However, that motherfucker got it on lock when it comes to the economy. Okay. Like I said, I really don't trust any of these people. But let's get political here. I dressed up for the occasion. I will say, I think uh, the one thing everybody can agree on. Tell me if I'm tripping. I don't know you. Remember this. I'm, acting, I'm talking to you like I do, but I don't know you. Welcome. Get on in here, brother. But I think the one thing we can all agree on is that uh, the money thing, not looking good. Not cool. And I don't like it. I don't like the fact that we all have to get rich or die trying. I know. So I will say, when it comes down to just simple third grade math, uh, something's got to give. Something's got to change. And if that means Big Daddy Trump has got to come in and do his damn thing, then so be it.
because I don't think the other guy knows what he's doing or even if he knows how to count money. I'm just saying. I don't trust either of them, but if I had to pick, tell me if I'm bugging out. I don't know. Anyways, I thought this was rich, though. Look at how, like, if they haven't already portrayed this man to be just straight-up Goodfellas, mafia-level, gangster-esque, this clip, this is like movie-level stuff here. I'm talking about illegal immigrants. I'm not talking about immigrants. I'm talking about illegal immigrant. I'm an immigrant. You're an immigrant. We're all immigrants. The pure research says that there are for immigrants on the whole create or come on try getting it out try getting it out I'll get it out I mean I don't know if you're gonna put this on television but you don't even know what you're talking about try getting it out go ahead <laughs> that was like the most badass thing I've ever heard ever seen he just like just f f checkmate just psh, case and point you're dead it was spectacular and shout out to whoever made this this was just funny I don't know. You guys leave your thoughts. Um, I mean, I'm really enjoying the show. Uh, I don't really like what's going down with just the money and all the all the laws. It's just like there's so many laws that like one time when I was much younger, I was in the court system and oh, I was such an asshole. This is so fucked up. But the, the I was talking to the judge and I said, you know, I, and they wanted me to pay like a $650 red light ticket out in California which I thought was just insane. So I told the judge, I said, look, man, I go, there's so many rules out here, okay? That I go, if you can repeat every law by memory, I'll pay the $650. I know. It's a really dick move on my, my end, but I was just making a point. It's going a little too far. Anyways, I do have a stand-up show coming up uh, in Tampa, in Ybor City. It's uh, 8.30 on June 15th. That's a Saturday. Uh, I'll leave the stuff down below where you can get tickets. The address, it's called The Gimmick. It's, I call it the Comedy Trap House. It's like some dude just got it out of house. And he's like, I know what we'll do. Instead of selling drugs, we'll sell, sell a good time and jokes. Um, so I'll be there doing 10 minutes. Um, should be fun. Thanks to everybody who came out to the last show. I posted it to my second channel. Uh, just a little clip. I did 10 minutes, but I posted just uh, a clip that I figured you guys would like. And uh, God, hell of a talk, man. <laughs> Trump trying. <laughs> I know. God, solid talk, man. Shout out to all my Patreon members. I love you guys. Unreal. I mean, just bananas. <laughs> you got to love it.